नमस्कारम भारत सो टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग द सेकंड क्लास ऑफ एलजेब्रा आई होप दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी वॉच द फर्स्ट क्लास दैट वॉज पोस्टेड यस्टरडे बिकॉज इट्स अ प्ले लिस्ट सो यू विल हैव टू वॉच वन बाई वन सो दिस इज द बैच ऑफ एवरी हाउस ऑफिसर एलजेब्रा सेकेंड क्लास आई स्टार्ट दिस क्लास फ्रॉम द थिंग्स दैट वी लर्न इन आवर लास्ट क्लास सो दैट यू कैन रिवाइज फ्यू थिंग्स राइट सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन how to tackle it it is given as 2x plus 1 upon 3x and i need to find or we need to find 3x plus 1 upon 2x so we can directly see that there is a relation between this and this these two things and this and this it simply it can be seen that they are the reverse of each other right so if i remove it so that you can see it properly see if i multiply simply if i multiply 3 by 2 in both the sides in this equation like this 3 by 2 2x plus 1 upon 3x is equals to 3 by 2 into 6 and now let me open the bracket what will happen it will get cancel out firstly so 3x plus in the second case it will be 3 by 2 into 1 upon 3x so here 3 will be cancel out here i have it will be cancel out as 3 9 now what i have here 3x plus 1 upon 2x is equals to 9 isn't it the same thing that we need to find out that we are supposed to find out that we are asked to find out yes it is this is a very simple technique whenever you will see see this question will not directly come into your exam but this question is just to develop the knowledge within your brain that how to simplify questions if this kind of equation is given and we need to find something in this pattern in this form so how we can change the system right now so this is our answer this is our answer let's go to question number 2 it is based on the concept you can if you can remember x plus 1 by x and we need to find x cube plus 1 by x cube that i already x plus 1 by x is equals to k and x cube plus 1 by x cube is equals to k cube minus 3k that i already explained you yesterday so i don't think i need to explain it again if you haven't watched that if you haven't watched that class it's my recommendation to please go and watch the first video and please watch it completely because i have seen few of you have commented that the video is very good you have liked it but when i saw the performance of the video i got to know that you didn't even watch the video for 5 minutes also so it will not be helpful to you if i am giving my effort to produce a video exactly what you wanted right you wanted a video a course not the video a course a batch where everything must be taught in english language and basically on youtube there is nobody is teaching in english for free right they are actually taking the free classes only in hindi and they are charging for english that too in their apps whatever their app can be but i am teaching you in english so it's your responsibility to watch it fully because i want to teach you i want to give you the knowledge if only one person is there also he or she must watch the video completely from start to end so that you can learn the things in proper way if i will teach you right now these things you won't be able to understand if you haven't watched that video so please go and watch it let's come back to our cap, uh, let's come back to our question c this is here 2x 2x and here this is 8x cube 8x cube i can clearly see that the power is 3 times and this is cube right 2 cube so i can directly apply the formula that is k cube minus 3k where the value of k is 5 that is 
that is 5 cube minus 3 into 5. So, it will be 125 minus 15 is equal to 110 is your answer. These type of questions were done yesterday or bigger pardon I should say in our last class these type of videos were discussed thoroughly. So, no need to explain these things again. Right. Basically, how you will judge this? I will again tell you this because this is a concept which you must know. 2x plus 1 by 2x is given and we need to find out 8x cube plus 1 upon 8x cube. See, this value must be the cube of, uh, sorry, this value must be the cube of this. Whatever here given it is, whatever given here, when we cube this, we must get this value. Then only we can apply these formulas, whatever I have told you, this formula, either this or that of the square, right? So, both the cases you must keep it in your mind that this actual format of the question should not change. Now, another question and I will explain you here. Just find out 25x square plus 1 upon 25x square. The same thing that I explained you right now in the previous slide. The value here given must be the whole square. So, when I square whole square this. I will get 25 x square and the value here and here is same and here and here is same that is asked. So, I can directly apply the formula. I am explaining these things to you repeatedly because this is just the beginning of our batch and beginning of the algebra of these type of questions. So, you must be aware of these things otherwise you will make mistakes later on. So, it is better that you should rectify these things, understand these things properly right now. So, to find out 25x square plus 1 upon 25x square, I can directly apply the formula that is k square minus 2 that I explained yesterday, that I gave yesterday, right. So, here the value of k is what? 7. So, it is 7 square minus 2 which is 49 minus 2 that is 47 is your answer. Any doubt anybody? If you have any doubt, just go and comment it down. Any doubt? If you have a single amount of doubt, just go and comment it down and you can join the telegram channel also which is there in the description. So, if there is any issue with your questions in your understanding, you can just ping me there. I can answer you. I can explain you. And one more thing you must do. After attending every class, Obviously, you will make notes, you will go and just try to solve the previous year questions of recent at least 22, 23 of the TCS pattern based of the algebra part, right. Whatever you have learned, you will just go and find those kind of questions and try to solve it. That is your job, that, you, that must be done by you, otherwise you won't be able to understand the main questions that are coming in the examination, right? So, you must be aware of those type of questions. So, it must be done by you because most of the questions are explained by, by me here. I am explaining you all the concepts. I am explaining you all the questions which are coming in the examination, but there is a vast syllabus, right? So, the question pattern, the question types can be of different types. Most of the questions will be discussed here by me, but you will also have to solve previous year questions and you will see you won't be able to solve you you will be able to solve each and every question there won't be a single question that you are you will be not be able to solve okay so please go and do that that's my humble request now from here our today's class is starting that is a new type this is a new type of question. You will think what is new type here? Let me show you. Here the value is 2x and here the value is 8x cube. It means when we will cube this, we will get it, right? Here the value is 3x. Here the value is 27x cube. It means if I cube 3x, I will directly get this. So, I can apply the formula. Okay. 
let's go what is the formula the formula is 8x cube plus 1 upon 27x cube is equals to k cube minus 3k right k cube minus 3k anybody having any issue with this and what is the value of k is k here it is 6 so it will be 6 cube minus 3 into 6 which means 6 cube is 216 and 6 3 is a 18 so it will be coming as 198 this is my answer everybody agreeing with me if you are agreeing with me comment it down right here at this point of time when you are watching this video comment it down that you are agreeing with me because i want to tell you something all of you who are agreeing with me are totally 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 wrong you are totally wrong this is not the answer this is a wrong solution this is a wrong solution and i have and i have written the wrong solution just to make you understand intentionally i have written this solution so that it just gets into your brain that whenever this question will be coming in front of you next time you will be remembering this that i can do a mistake in this question if i don't look at the question properly see what i told you yesterday and right now only what i told you here also i told you in this question i told you that this value and this value must be same what is our expression it is x plus 1 by x it is not x plus 1 by y this x must be same as this this coefficient must be same as this in this case see what it is written here it is 2x i can say it, it is my x or i can say it is my whatever it is a and here it is 3x can i say this is my a no i can't how can i say this this is 2x and this is 3x so i can't say this is a is this is a yes i can say this can be b something something else other than b it can't be a it means that i can't use the formula directly in simple sentence if i'll say you just can't use the formula directly because in formula i need to have x plus 1 by x this and this values are equal those values must be same it can't be different so what to do now how can we solve this question so to solve this question we need to go to the conventional method can you remember how i told you to derive those formulas from x plus 1 by x cube to x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 1 by x cube how i told you by cubing both sides right so i'll have to cube both sides 2x plus 1 upon 3x whole cube is equals to 6 cube right now let me open the bracket or expand the formula it is 8x cube a cube plus b cube 1 upon 27 x cube definitely plus 3 a b right 2 x into 1 upon 3 x into a plus b right so here it will be 216 anybody having any doubt till here no now see i have got this value that is required to be found out this will get cancel out this will get cancel out i am not writing this i am taking this entire value to the right hand side so it will be 216 minus what is left here 2 i have 2 left here and the value of this 2x plus 1 by 3x is nothing but 6 can you see from the equation that is given to us the value is 6 so i can replace this value so with minus sign it will be 2 into 6 which means 216 minus 12 which is 204 anybody having any doubt so this is our answer 204 is our answer not 198 198 is not your answer at all if anybody is saying that 198 is your answer that's wrong that's totally wrong okay that will be totally wrong 
so i hope you have understood this concept but there is a again you will be getting some doubts in your brain that if this much time will be taken by one question of this type then it will be a problem in the examination right so there must be some solution for this how can we just go and solve with the traditional method every time yes so for that i'll give you some important tips which you will note it down in how in the formula numbers four formulas i have given you yesterday this will be formula number 5 this will be formula number 5 this is formula number 5 ax plus 1 upon bx is equals to k now 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 when i have ax plus 1 upon bx it means the coefficient of x are not same like the question that was in the previous slide the coefficient of x is 3 here the coefficient of x is 2 here so the coefficient of x's are not same in that case then a cube x cube plus 1 upon a cube x cube sorry a cube no it will not be a cube there it is b x right so it will be b cube x cube b cube x cube will be equals to k cube minus 3k the same formula that we learned earlier but with some changes in the second number it will be a by b multiplied you just keep it in mind you better keep it in mind in the same way if i'll write the formula for the counterpart x 1x min ax minus 1 upon bx if it is given as k then a cube x cube minus 1 upon b cube x cube will be equals to again k cube plus 3k the formula will be same except the addition part that is a by b is in the product with 3k okay so these two formulas must be remembered by you because this type of questions generally comes in examinations examination this type of questions will be coming in direct way now it's my obviously it's my duty to explain you now see what was the question there that was written here it is that was given 2x plus 1 upon 3x is equal to 6 2x plus 1 upon 3x is equal to 6 now i need to find out 8x cube plus 1 upon 27x cube now let me use the formula that i have given you here that is k cube minus 3k into a by b right and my k here is 6 so it will be 6 cube minus 3 into 6 and what is my a my a is 2 can you see this if we'll compare these two you will see my a is 2 and my b is 3 3 and 3 will get cancel out 6 cube is nothing but 216 minus 12 which is 204 isn't it the same answer that we got from the conventional method yes it is so this formula is totally valid totally 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 valid right this formula is totally valid there is no problem in this formula right so i think you have understood this part and let me go forward and explain you yes this is the question that i have already solved in the previous slide right it's okay let's move forward let's move forward to the new question that is on your screen please solve it please 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 solve it please solve it you will just pause the video at this point and you will solve this question without any 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 delay okay 
you will solve this question this is a very important question and very interesting also both at the same time but i think before going into this question i think i have missed something yes i have missed this question because i thought it is the same question that i explained you let me first explain you this then i will go back to that again see in this question the difference is that here it is 2x right and here it is 27x cube it means it is not the exact same cube of this but i have 2x cube here in the denominator of the second part that i need to find it means i will have to do something what i'll have to do that i explained you at the very first slide of today's class that i'll have to exchange the places of the values so for that i need to multiply both sides with 3 by 2 it is 2x plus 1 upon 3x is equals to 3 by 2 into 6 it will cancel out 3 times so it is 9 here let me open the bracket here so it will be 3x plus 1 upon 2x is equals to 9 can you see now i have the exact same now i have the exact same thing that i need to find out after cubing because i have 3x here and the cube part is here i have 2x here and the cube part is here now this question must be done by you i have explained you the basics now you just need to apply the formula and solve the question and comment down the answer comment it down that is your job so that i can also get to know that you are actually watching this video if you will solve this and you will post the comment i will understand that you have watched this video right let's go let's go to this very interesting question there is two well two equations given and i need to find something that is here how to approach this question let me tell you let me explain you this from this equation i see that i can add something that is if i add x plus a minus b plus 4 and minus x i have added plus x and minus x so it will get cancelled out so the entire equation will be the same now i need to arrange some things after watching the question clearly i see that if i take x minus b in a bracket and if i take minus common then i'll get x minus a here and plus 4 is equals to 0 right now again if i write it down here as minus x minus a plus x minus b it is given then and if i take the 4 on the other side of the equal sign it will be equals to it will be minus 4 and this minus and this minus will be cancelled out right it will be cancelled out but i i know i have done a mistake here that i wanted to make you understand that you are watching or not what the mist what is the mistake that i have done here see i have taken the minus common so when i take minus con i should put a bracket sign here so this plus sign will get changed into minus right it will just change into minus then only when this minus and this minus will multiply and make plus so what is the so here it is also bracket close what i am having so remaining what i have remaining x minus a minus of x minus b is equals to 4 this is i have this is my again equation number one i have just simplified it or i have just make the things according to what i need now see let it call let us call this equation number two from this equation i can see that x minus b is nothing but one upon x minus a see why i did these things because i wanted something in the form of x minus a or in x minus b because 
I need to find x minus a. I am going for x x minus a. If it was written here, find out x minus b whole cube minus one upon x minus b whole cube, I would have taken the x minus b thing, and I have I would have replaced x minus a with x minus b. So here it is given as x minus a, so I will go with x minus a. No problems with it. And when I'll get x minus a, and if I apply the same formula of the cubing. That explained you just right now. I'll get the answer. See, let me replace here x minus a minus it will be one upon x minus a is equals to four, right? Now I have got the exact same form in which I wanted, and now I can apply the formula just to cube it. See, if I write here it as X minus a whole cube minus x minus a whole cube. I can directly apply the formula because here x minus a x minus is same, and after cubing this value, I am getting x minus a whole cube x minus a whole cube, right? So what will be my formula? It will be k cube plus three k. Obviously, it will be plus because here it is minus. So in formula, it will be plus. So simple as that. What is my k here? My k here is this four. Four cube means sixty-four plus three into four, which is sixty-four plus twelve, seventy-six. This is my answer. Seventy-six is my answer. Anybody having any problem, any queries, any difficulty in understanding this question? This is very interesting question. Very, very, very interesting question. This question explains you about multiple concepts. Firstly, how to arrange the equations given to you according to your need, and then use the formula. So both the concepts are tested here, right? Now, before going forward, I need to explain few more things to you. So what is that? There is a concept called value putting method. I will not go deep into this concept right now because I have reserved one question entirely for this concept only, right? But I will give you just a glimpse of this concept. What it is? Value putting. method in my terms i call these type of things these type of tricks as aim which means artificial intelligence method as we all know this is the time of ai artificial intelligence method so with we know that ai reduces our time to do big big things in the same way this value putting method or artificial int intelligent method that is aim can reduce your, reduce your time significantly what it explains it means that when number of variables given variables given is greater than number of equations given equations given then i can directly apply value putting method i can directly apply this method method here without wasting any time what does what does this mean this means i will explain you with this question only that i solved with this method i solved this question with this method now i will show you how to solve this same question with value putting method and you will see how significant time you can save from this question by using value putting method or aim so let me aim this question see i have been given or we have been given as two equations here this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 and how many variables are here this is one variable this is second variable two 
and x this is third variable variable means obviously everybody knows that variables means the value of which can change it's not constant one two three i have three variables and i have two equations what is the condition i have given here when number of variables is greater than number of equations so i have three variables and two equations so it is definitely greater it is definitely greater than number of equations so i can apply value putting method now see how to apply value putting method whenever this condition is satisfied that is variables is greater than equations then i will do one thing i will do one thing that is variables minus equations number of equations that will be the number of values i will be putting on my own like here three variables are given and two equation is given so it comes as one it means that one value can be put by me according to my choice just to simplify the question right just to simplify the question i can do that so i can put just uh, i can put value of any one variable right so let me put the value of variable a as 0 let me do that what happens see after putting a is equal to 0 i will get b is equals to 4 right done now here i have that i need to find out is x minus a into x minus b no this is not i need to find out this is the second equation definitely i need to find out is this one the question is same x minus a into x minus b is equals to 1 now this a is 0 so here it is x and the value of b is coming as 4 so it will be x minus 4 is equals to 1 which means x minus 4 is equals to 1 upon x which means x minus 1 by x is equals to 4 right this is coming as 4 now what i need to find what was asked x minus a x minus a now let me change the color of the pen it was given as x minus a that i needed to find out x minus a whole cube plus 1 upon x minus a whole cube see why i took the value of a as 0 because when i put a is equals to 0 here the value of a is 0 the value of a is 0 it means it will be coming as x cube is it plus or minus minus sorry beg your pardon it is minus here so it will be x cube minus 1 upon x cube because the value of a is 0 now i have x minus 1 upon x i have one my x minus 1 upon x can't i get x cube minus 1 upon x cube definitely i can i know the formula i know the direct formula right what is the formula here formula here is k cube plus 3k and the value of k is nothing but 4 so 4 cube will be 64 and 3 into 4 that is again 76 isn't it the same answer that we got here 76 c the same answer that we got here and in very less time obviously this is taking time because i am explaining this to you first time so i am taking time but in next question when i will show you again value putting method you will see it will just come in flash after just watching the question you will just get to know that which value you need to put zero or anything else the value of a can be anything else depending upon the equation is not undefined at any point it must be kept in your mind i will solve the questions and i will just show you how to use those things but not in this class maybe in next class maybe next class right so that's the thing we have the same answer but two different method and definitely you will be using value putting method now again see again i have the same type of question again i have the same type of question and here you need to find out let me write it down x minus b whole cube Minus one upon x minus b whole cube. Okay. 
we know we can do that uh, do this question with analytical or traditional method but we won't be doing this question with that method method we will be solving this question with value putting method or we'll just aim this question see i need to find out this value so what is my first aim to make the value that i need to find out more simpler how can it it will get more simpler when i'll put b is equals to 0 the moment i put b is equals to 0 I'll get a is equals to 6. Anybody having any doubt here? Right? Now, this is our equation a and this is our equation b, uh, equation 2. Again, I am explaining you. See, in this question also, I have 1, 2, 3 variables and I have equation 1, equation 2, 2 equations. So, definitely, firstly, first thing I can apply value putting method and secondly, how many values I can put difference of these two that is equals to 1. So, I can just put value of 1 variable. The whole motive is that to equate the number of variables and number of equations and the extra variables which are there that the those values will be put by us, put by you. So, b is equal to 0, a is equal to 6. So, in equation 2, it is x minus x minus a and x minus 0 is equals to 1. So, it will be x minus value of a is 6 and it is 1 upon x. So, x minus 1 by x is equals to 6, right? Now, now you see the magic of value putting method. In our finding, we can put b is equals to 0, right? So, it will be coming as x cube minus 1 upon x cube. Can you see, if I cube this, I will get directly this value according to our formula that is x cube minus 1 upon x cube. Whenever x minus 1 by x is given, I can directly find out x cube minus 1 upon x cube. With the formula k cube plus 3k, it will be 6 cube plus 3 into 6 which will be 216 plus 18. Any queries, anybody? What will the answer? 234. Should I write it or you will do it? 234 is the answer. I will write it also and you will do it also. Both the things will be done. Okay. Both the things will be done. So, this is actually value putting method. I have just shown you the glimpse of value putting method. I won't be discussing this. I will again explain you this in the next class and we will be doing many, many questions from value putting method because nearly 50 to 60 percent questions of algebra are done by value putting method because it takes very less time. Let us move forward. Now, it's the time to give you a few more formulas. It's the time to give you a few more formulas. I have given you six formulas. So, this will be formula number seven. What is the formula? x plus 1 upon x is given as k if then x minus 1 by x is equals to under root k square minus 4. Yeah. Let me rub it. It will be k square minus 4 and I will show you also how this formula is coming. But before that, let me write it for formula number 8. x minus 1 by x, obviously the negative part of this formula is equals to k then x plus 1 by x is equals to under root k square plus 4 right so how this formula is coming i will show you the seventh formula the first part i will show you how this formula is coming the rest you can just understand or you can solve it also on your own there is not much issue So, 
it is given as x square plus 1 by x is equals to k. C. Squaring both sides, I'll square both sides. I'll square both sides. After squaring both sides, I can write it as x minus 1 by x whole square plus 4 x into 1 by x is equals to k square. Anybody having any issue? If somebody having any issue with this, let me explain you one thing. a plus b whole square can be written as a minus b whole square plus 4ab. Isn't it the same formula? Obviously, it is the same formula because we know when it will expand, it will be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square plus 4ab and this 4ab and minus 2ab will be cancelling out and the remaining will be a square plus 2ab plus b square which is nothing but formula of a plus b whole square right so this is very basic equation basic formula that we all have read in our class 6 7 5 so from here i know that this is my a this is my b and here again ab so it will be cancelled out so, x minus 1 by x will be coming as k square minus 4 under root. Right. It is the same formula that I have written you here directly. And the second formula will be coming again with the same type of deduction. Formula number 8 also will be coming the same way. Right. So, let me give you a question with this. Let's see if x plus 1 by x is given as 3 and you need to find out x minus 1 by x directly. How will do? You will simply write under root k square minus 4, right, which is equals to this is your k. So, it will be under root 3 square is 9 minus 4, which is under root 5 directly. You can directly write it down. And in the same way, if x minus 1 by x is given as 3 again, and you need to find out x plus 1 by x, or rather, 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 let's go the other way around. Now, here x minus 1 by x is given as, let us check the formula in both the ways, right? x minus 1 by x is given as root 5, the value which we got here. It is given as this and you need to find out x plus 1 by x. What will the formula here? Under root k square plus 4. What is your k? Definitely your k is root 5. So, after squaring it, it will be 5. It is 4. It is under root 9 which is nothing but 3. So, your 3 is coming here. Can you see how it works? How it works exactly in both ways? Right. See, to remember this formula, you will have to keep in mind when you are given, when you have, when you are given plus sign, right here, when it is given plus and it is asking for minus, then the, in formula also the value is minus. And when it is given as minus and you need to find out plus, in formula also the sign is plus. Only this thing you need to remember and you need to mug up. Okay. Now, let us go to formula number 9. Let us go to formula number 9. Formula number 9. 
formula number 9 is if x square plus 1 upon x square is given as k then x plus 1 by x will be nothing but under root k plus 2 don't worry i'll explain this again and the formula number 10 is if x square plus 1 by x square again plus 1 by x square is given as k then x minus 1 upon x is given as under root k minus 2 all of you agree with me i know you don't because you don't know how to get this formula so let me explain you see here it is given as x square plus 1 upon x square right and here it is given as equals to k now let me add to both the sides let me add to both the sides and can i here write as x square in numerator and 1 upon x square in denominator it will get cancelled out the equation remains same isn't it the formula of x square plus 1 upon x square sorry bigger pardon it is the formula of x plus 1 by x right it won't be and it won't be x square here it will be x and x okay. it won't be x square here in numerator i am multiplying x and in denominator also i am multiplying x so it is formula of x plus 1 by x whole square is equals to k plus 2 and 1 plus x 1 plus so x plus 1 upon x is equals to under root k plus 2 right it is the same formula that I have directly written. You see, in examination, these formulas will be used in between questions, in big questions. So, in that case, you will not be having time to again solve this and get each and every step and just find out how the formula is coming. So, these formulas must be in your mind so that you can use it directly. In the same way, in the second formula, we can also deduce it because see, here plus, here it is plus and here it is minus because when we add minus minus both the sides the formula will be coming as x minus 1 by x but for that i don't need the value of x square minus 1 by x square no i don't need that i don't need that because the in formula in it in formula it is x square plus 1 by x square minus 2 obviously x into a numerator and denominator right so let me take an example so that you can understand let's say it is given as x square plus 1 upon x square as 7 so what will be x plus 1 upon x obviously it will be directly under root 7 plus 2 because this is our k no need to explain you again so it will be 3 under root 9 is 3 Again, if x square plus 1 upon x square is given as 7 and you are said to find out x minus 1 by x, what you will write? You will write simply 7 that is k minus 2 which is 7 minus 2 which is under root 5 directly. No issues, no problem, nothing. Concepts are clear totally to all of you. Should I move forward? If you have come this way. In this video at this point i will request you to like the video share this video with all of your friends family who actually need a free course in english and doesn't have any money to purchase the paid batches i'll do each and everything here for free now the most interesting question of today's class is on your screen the value is given and I need to find out something. Right. How to manipulate this? See, from this equation, I can write it as x minus 3 is equal to 1 upon x. See, in these type of questions, you always try to go for x and 1 upon x. For that, you just need to bring down the x in the left hand side to right hand side in the denominator. Now, again, what I'll get, I think there is a mistake in the question. There is a typo mistake. It is minus 1. 
it is minus 1. Okay, so it will be x minus 3 into minus 1 upon x. So it will be x plus 1 upon x is equals to 3. Right, I have this value here. Now let us find out the cube of this value x cube plus 1 upon x cube is equals to k cube minus 3k that is 27 minus 9 is equals to 18. Now let us take LCM. Let us take LCM. Let me write it with other pen color so that it will be easier for you. See x cube minus 18 let me bring it in the left hand side because i see here it is x cube minus 18 and let me take this 1 upon x cube in the right hand side that is minus 1 upon x cube and if i take this x cube in the left hand side see x cube into x cube minus 18 the value is coming as minus 1 which i need to find out that is my question so the answer is minus 1 can you see how interesting question this is how much interesting question this is very intriguing question right so i think this question is understood to each and everyone let's move forward to the second question sorry the tenth question not the second question let us move to the tenth question and how to solve this question see this is a type of question firstly this is a type this is a type this is a type you will have to remember this type see whenever it is given as x plus 1 upon x is equals to 2 it simply means that value of it is written here value of x is always 1 then only this equation can be satisfied otherwise it won't get satisfied so whenever it is given x plus 1 upon x is equals to 2 in that case x is always 1 is always 1 you just don't need to even think more than once just see the question if it is given x plus 1 upon x equals to 2 then just take the value of x as 1 that's it so let me ask you something if it is given as x plus 1 upon x equals to 2 what will be the value of x to the power 9 plus 1 upon x to the power 10 what will be the value If it is given x plus 1 upon x equals to 2, it means x is equals to 1, right? So, I can just write it here 1 upon 9 plus 1 upon 10, which means 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. Right? So, what, I, what can I deduce from here? I can deduce one thing from here that is it will be if I want to if I want to give you a few more examples it will be if x to the power 10 11 plus 1 upon x to the power 99 is equals to 2 in that case also x is equals to 1 in that case also without any doubt in that case also so there is a general form with which you will with which you will remember that x to the power n plus 1 upon x to the power n is equals to 2 then x is equals to 1 always always where this n can be any integer any integer it can be any integer no issues and one more thing it can be different also it can be n1 and it can be n2 also it's better to write n1 n2 rather than n n n, n. n means that both the value should be same right but it is not it is not required to be same here it is 9 here it is 10 
so i can write it as x to the power n1 plus 1 upon x to the power n2 because both are not same n is not same here so we'll always remember this always remember this this is a very very important conclusion for an example if this is given as x plus 1 upon x equals to 2 which means x is equals to 1 so if someone asks x to the power 15 plus x to the power 90 plus x to the power minus 90 6 plus x to the power 10 plus x to the power 2 what will be its value you will simply write 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equals to 5 that's it because you know whenever x plus 1 upon x is equals to 2 then x is equals to always 1 that's it no need to think anything else apart from this should i move forward now let me explain you one more type new type let me explain you new type so in this new type if x plus 1 upon x is given as 1 then in that case x cube will always be minus 1 you should remember this if this is the case then x cube is equals to minus 1 always how how it is coming let me explain you if i cube this x cube plus 1 upon x cube if i want to find x cube plus 1 upon x cube from this equation what it will be obviously k square minus 3k so it is 1 here right 1 cube minus 3 into 1 right so it is 1 minus 3 is equals to minus 2 now what i have x cube plus 1 upon x cube is equals to minus 2 and what i deduced right now just right now what i deduced that x to the power n x to the power n1 x to the power n1 plus 1 upon x to the power n2 is equals to 2 then x is always 1 right i got this value so let me take this minus let me take this minus as common or not common just understand this thing why why you why i should take this as common just understand one thing if here it is minus 2 it means that the value of x cube must be minus 1 the value of x cube must be minus, minus 1 otherwise this equation won't be satisfied otherwise this equation won't exist if the value of x cube is not minus 1 right so from this i can directly say that x cube is always minus 1 so how this will be helpful for us let's understand few things if in a question it is given as x plus 1 upon x is equals to 1 in a question if it is written as this right and you are said to find out find x to the power 12 plus x to the power 13 plus x to the power 14 plus x to the power 15 plus x to the power 16 plus x to the power 17 plus x to the power 18 if you are set to find out this how will do see when you see this you can directly write that if this is given i can directly write x cube is equals to minus 1 directly i can write this which means x cube minus x uh, uh, minus 1 let me write out let me write it one first x cube minus 1 uh, x cube plus 1 is equals to 0 right and i can write it as x cube plus x to the power 0 is equals to 0 which means which means whenever which means whenever the value of 
x are in sum and their power and in their power there is a difference of 3 that is 3 minus 0 is 3 the sum of that value will be 0 the sum of that value will be 0 right if it is given as x to the power 2 uh, if it is given as x to the power not 2 21 plus x to the power 18 see both are x and in sum the difference of their power is 3 which means their sum will be 0 the same concept will be used in the question asked here let me arrange it x to the power 12 plus x to the power 15 i am arranging the values in the form of in the difference of 3 plus x to the power 13 plus x to the power 16 plus x to the power 14 plus x to the power 17 plus x to the power 18 right now see this value will be 0 this value will be 0 why because the power difference is 3 the power difference is 3 this is also 0 the power difference is 3 so what i have remain what i have remaining x to the power 18 so if i have x cube then i will turn it into x cube to the power 6 because it will then give me x to the power 18 after product and the value of x cube is minus 1 so to the power 6 is equals to 1 so 1 will be your answer if somebody is having any doubt that how i made this value 0 let me explain you this in a different form see if x to the power 12 plus x to the power 15 is here and if i take x to the power 12 as common what i will have i will have 1 plus x to the power 3 right i will have 1 plus x to the power 3 and see from this equation i got this x to the power 3 plus 1 is equals to 0 so this value is 0 so the whole value is 0 that is why i have told you to use the values in the sum form so that you can directly write it you don't need to again take common and again put the value as 0 it will just kill your time so it's better to use it directly you just arrange the words you just arrange the expressions in the sum format and just see where the difference is 3 and put value as 0 in these type of questions directly right now before starting this question i want to give you one more thing i want to explain you one more thing see if x plus 1 by x is equals to minus 1 then x cube will be 1 same way in the same way this formula is also coming that i have explained you earlier on x plus 1 by x is given as minus 1 then x cube will be 1 it is actually the reverse of that we got here in this formula it is actually the reverse here we have x plus 1 by x equals to 1 and then we are getting x cube is x cube is equals to minus 1 right in this formula here it is given as 1 and we are getting x cube is equals to minus 1 but in this we have x plus 1 by x equals to minus 1 then we will have x cube is equals to 1 it means this right now let's go to this question how to solve this question actually i am sweating like anything you can see from my t-shirt it's totally gone it's totally wet because when i record videos i just can't use fan because i'll not uh, get the value I, i'll not get the actually i'm dehydrating so actually i will not get the proper sound that i want so it will not be possible for all of you to hear properly so i just need to put my fan off to record the videos so it's really humid out here let's go to our question number 12 see here it is given as a square plus 1 is equals to a let us divide right by a 
or take this a in this side in denominator what we will have a plus 1 by a is equals to 1. So, from this equation what I get what I can say directly that a cube is equals to minus 1 can I say directly yes I can. So, what is given as here what is asked here a to the power 12 plus a to the power 6 plus 1. So, in this x from this expression I can see if I have power of 3 that is a cube to the power 4 plus a cube to the power 2 whole to the power 2 plus 1. Now, this is minus 1 we know to the power 4 plus minus 1 square plus 1. So, this is also 1, this is also 1, this is also 1. So, the answer is 3. Anybody having any doubt? Please ask if anybody is having any doubt. Last question of the day. Last question of our day is here. x upon 3 plus 3 upon x is equals to 1. Find x cube. This is a very simple problem. Nothing much to explain. We have x upon 3 given. And if I take 3 in the denominator. So, what I will have? 1 upon x upon 3 is equals to 1. It means that. What I have told you, if anything is given this form, it is what? It is simply x plus 1 by x form, right? If I take whole x by 3 is equals to x. So, from this, what I have, x cube is equals to minus 1, right? So, from this, I can say x by 3 whole cube is equals to minus 1, which means x cube is equals to minus 27 directly I can say this answer as this right so this is the last question of our video I think I have explained you each and everything with all the efforts it was required to explain you each and everything from the basics to the pro level so you will do what you will do you will go and practice these type of questions from previous year books whichever you have it does not matter. So, thanks for watching till here. If you have come here, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with all of the economically weaker background aspirants so that it can be helpful for them. Right. So, we will meet in the next class. See, I will not be posting videos every day for English. Right, because I need to do other works also, but you please be sure I will complete the course before CGL 2024 happens. So, make sure you watch the video whenever I just did, I just put it on YouTube. For that, you just need to put the notification bell pressed. So, that whenever I put the video, you will get the notification and you can come and watch the video whenever you want. Right. So, this must be done by you. That is your work. So, I think I will try to I will try to put videos on a regular basis, but I don't think it will be possible to put videos every day because I am I am posting videos in the Hindi batch every day. So, I need to catch up with each and everything. I have a lot of work to do. But don't worry, I will put each and every videos of the course before the examination commences. Right. So, we will meet again in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Jai.